Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Arrow Season 3, Episode 16. This one is called The Offer. Uh, in the previous episode, Oliver was offered to take Roz's place um, to be the next Roz al Ghul. So yeah, there's that. Um, we'll see how that offer goes. Um, currently, him and Diggle are prisoners. And uh, Malcolm is baking and Felicity hooked up with Ray and I'm trying to think what else happened I can't remember what else happened with the other characters that's all I can remember oh and Ray's suit which looked ridiculous um is working because he was flying around the city while Felicity was sleeping so yeah I think that's about all that happened in the previous episode, so I'm inter interested to see what is going to happen in this and how Oliver is either going to accept the offer or how he's going to reject the offer and not get killed or kill Diggle in the process. So, um, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can't believe I forgot, uh, Thea let Nissa out after she told her she's the one that killed Sarah, so and then gave her a freaking blade. So, what's that all about? What is she gonna do? Uh, is she just gonna stand there and let Nissa kill her? Is Nissa going to kill her? I have no idea, but that was really stupid. So, we'll see. Um, but I can't really remember what happened with Laurel. I know she tried to kill Malcolm and she found out he's the one that drugged Thea, the you know, and had her kill her sister. But I know she didn't blame Thea, but I don't know. I can't remember if that was just the only thing that happened with her or what. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Grace is a title greater than any one man. We need to allow my Am I supposed to understand what that means? No. It's from a dialect no longer spoken. Said to me by a man whose place I took. Contemplating the same offer. And what it means is... The tale to be told... Begins thus. All men seek guidance. A purpose. A means to live without pain. Those who journey here are given such an exchange for their fealty. You mean they have to kill for you? Oh, Mr. Queen, I have to die for me. Surely men have branded you a murderer, a torturer. You see, I would never shame you with such bluntness, because I see it in your eyes. The struggle you have with your dual identity. All of a queen and the arrow. Neither giving you what you crave. But becoming Ra's al Ghul will. Oliver Queen is a man destined to be alone. He loves a woman he knows he cannot have. You don't know me. But I know the arrow. Al Sahim will never be anything more than a vigilante for those whose lives you save at the risk of your own. Your city will turn on you, and your closest allies within the police department will call you a criminal. You will be scorned and hunted, and then killed. Dying as you begun your crusade. Alone. Your brother attempted to have me believe that he killed Sarah. Your confession is even less convincing. I don't have any reason to lie, except to protect your father. Why would I protect Malcolm when I turned him over to you? He gave me a drug called Fatora. I put three arrows into her chest, and I had no idea what I was doing. He used me, so I don't deserve to be living any more than Malcolm does. There would be no justice in killing you. I killed Sarah! Kill me! Do it. Do it. She just feels guilty and wants to die, so now she the don't feel guilt. The ends with Malcolm's death. Which I can assure you my father has taken care of already. Thea! Get away from her! Oh, Laurel, seriously? Don't, don't. Okay, it's a train. Okay. Ooh. They have 
permitted me to live way beyond my time. You don't seem too phased by what I've told you. I've seen things that have helped me to believe that this world is a much bigger place than people realize. These water's powers are losing their effect on me. My time is almost over. But my legacy won't be just ash and bone. It will be history. And you think that I'll help you secure that legacy? You survived my sword. Your resurrection wasn't a gift from these waters. Rather by force of your own will. And what better heir to immortality than someone who has already claimed victory over death? I didn't defy death just to become an instrument of it. We are justice. Not all the time. Isn't that what you've dedicated your life to? And why confine your crusade to a single city? And I can give you a whole world to save. By executing anyone who stands in my way. You would command resources that you cannot even fathom. Numbers greater than any army. And more loyal. This, uh, I don't think will follow no. all of her. If you wish for them to renounce killing as you did. That will be done. I doubt that. It's called the League of Assassins for a reason. The League's reason would be your own. You would be Raish al Ghul. And what if I say no? Then you are free to leave. With All of them? Compatriots. With a gesture of goodwill. All debts forgiven. And all blood oaths waived. I let Malcolm go too? Okay, that was weird. Really need to stop having these, thank God you're not dead for unions. I agree. <laughs> I'm working on it. How do you look okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. Not even a scratch. How Malcolm's on passing? the couch. How did you get him back? Doesn't matter. What matters is you didn't kill him. No, I wanted Roz to kill him. If you think I feel bad for him, you're wrong. I'm not asking you to feel bad for him. I'm not asking you to forgive him. Just let him heal. I'm very confused. Nissa's not gonna uh, let this go. Does Raz not care his daughter's being held prisoner? Yeah, I, I know, buddy, but home's not really safe right now. Because those men tried to hurt us? Yeah, because of those men. In fact, Akio, we shouldn't even really be out in the open right now. Oh, no. Akio! Oliver? Hey. Look, you cannot disappear like that. I thought I saw my father. We can't get separated. The botanical gardens. The what? Mother and father always told me to go there if we ever got separated. Okay. What about Malcolm? I mean, I know Laurel wants him dead. I mean, is he? Nope. We got him back. Well, I suppose congrats and why, oh, why did you do that are in order. Oliver? Oliver, what are you doing? You're free to go. My father would never trade my life for yours. And he certainly wouldn't do it for Malcolm Merlin's. He didn't. If no bargain was struck, then how are you still alive? Go home, Nissa. Okay. Well, I don't understand anything anymore. Why did Ross? Yeah, I'm, I'm with matter. Felicity on this one, actually. Focus on what does. Somewhere. There is so someone confused. that needs a reminder that we are still watching over this city. Toka shipment? Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Why is his mouth stitched together? still need training. When are you gonna stop telling me that? When you no longer need training. Arsenal! <laughs> that guy got away. With these. Ran into a new player tonight who dropped some bodies. I need a name. What are these He's not gonna jobs? help. Yeah. But when he does, you can read about it in the papers. Yeah, I knew it. Detective? It's Captain now. When were you gonna tell me, huh? Or were you gonna tell me? You really gonna stand there still pretending like you didn't know my daughter was dead? Ah, uh, Captain Lance. My whole career, my whole life, 
Even when I knew nothing, I at least knew right from wrong. And I knew vigilantism was wrong. And that the day we take the law into our own hands is the day that we, we become outlaws. And that idea, that idea was precious to me. I threw that all the way the day I threw in with you. You know why? Because I trusted you. But I see the man under the hood now. He lies, and he keeps secrets. Also, he doesn't have to carry around the weight of his decisions. Well, you're wrong about that. And I'm done with him. About carrying the weight of his decisions, that's wrong. But he does lie and keep secrets. Well, I hope it's better than that fusion place you took me to where I needed this microscope to find the food. <laughs> Oliver, hey, what are you doing here? I mean, it's nice to see you here. Nice to see you again, Mr. Palmer. Likewise. And please, call me Ray. Okay. Why is he here? Ray. I'm sorry, I should have told you earlier when you got back. You don't owe me anything. That's not true. That's right, she doesn't. You're one of my closest friends. We went up against a new crew last night. One of them had his lips sewn shut. Is that a real thing? Apparently. Street names murmur because of the whole lip stitch thing. Practitioners say it focuses the mind like meditation. He did it on purpose. You okay? I handed some of Amar's men over to Lance. He knows the arrow knew about Sarah, didn't tell him. What did Lance say? Some variation on go to hell. Oliver, he just needs time. Well, he's right. I lied to him for months. I kept something from him and he had every right to know. Are you okay? It just seems like there's something else going on underneath all that. I'm fine. Thanks for help with Amar's name. No one wants to see Merlin dead more than me. But Oliver was right. You wanted your own father killed. Yeah, and how messed up is that? You know, you're lucky, Laurel. You have a normal father. Someone who really loves you. Yeah, I can't say we're on the best of terms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not at the moment. I'm not gonna apologize for what I did. And I'd do it again. I know. You asked me to teach you to be strong. To make sure you can't be hurt again. You learned your lessons well. I have learned nothing from you. Do you realize that I'm so messed up I was willing to die last night for what you made me do? You know, I didn't actually think it was possible for me to hurt any worse than I did when I came to you. But you proved to me I was wrong. So what was it again that you taught me? Show me the knife. How did you know? You are my daughter. Do it like I taught you one strike to the neck, it'll be over quickly. 